The quorum call. Uh, ask unanimous consent to, that the quorum call be rescinded. Without objection. Now ask unanimous consent that I be recognized for such time as I would be rescinded. Without objection. Uh, Mr. President, I have a, a real personal interest in, 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 in a vote that's coming up on Zika. And I want to kind of share that in my thoughts. Uh, uh, today we have the opportunity to provide the funding to help combat the mosquito-borne Zika virus that has hit Florida and some other southern states. As of this week, there have been 49 travel-related cases of virus in Florida and 576 travel-related cases altogether. Now, within those cases, 80 are pregnant women that have been infected with the virus. This is extremely concerning since the Zika has been linked to severe birth defects in children born from mothers who contacted with the virus, Zika. Uh, Zika has created a public health emergency that can't be ignored. Now, this isn't the first time we've taken this vote up. In June, Senate Democrats blocked the package of the conference report claiming that funds did not need to be offset. The $1.1 billion in funding provided in the conference report will be used to fight the Zika vir virus and prevent it from spreading. This is the same amount as the Senate passed bill uh, in which every Democrat voted in favor. All the Democrats voted for it. Republicans have put together a responsible funding package that includes $750 million in offsets with strong oversight and control to ensure that funds are being used properly. You know, there's a lot of discussion and a lot of things that we're saying here on the floor and to the public that the public doesn't understand. They can't be expected to understand. They're too busy out trying to make a living. But when they hear things like this, they shake their heads and they say, you know, what's wrong with that system up there? And I say this because there's a little girl who happens to be my sister's granddaughter. Her name is Callie Hamilton. Callie Hamilton has lived for some time in, in Florida. She's pregnant. And she's called me several times. And she said, I, I don't understand it. You have Democrats that are saying we don't want to do something uh, for, to save the lives of these pregnant mothers in Florida and elsewhere unless you also fund Planned Parenthood and some of the other programs. It gets all mixed up. Everything because of the urgency, the sense of urgency of this thing is now a, a vehicle for everybody else to hitchhike on. And let me tell you, when I was asked the question by my own great niece, who is pregnant, living in Florida. He said, why is it that people are too concerned about the political politics of a vote when this is different than any other virus vote we've had? We've had them, many of them. And, and, and normally, there's some question as to what caused it, some question as to whether or not the solution is a viable solution, when in fact, in this case, it is. There's no question about it. I mean, there are two things that are factual about this that are not that we have not seen before. First of all, the virus is contracted through mosquitoes. We all know that. Nobody refutes that. The second thing is you can kill mosquitoes, and everybody knows that. Now, whether the amount's 750 million or whatever the amount is doesn't really matter. Even if you were out there with a very small amount and just killed several million mosquitoes, that could save lives. And it could be my grandniece, Carrie. Callie uh, Hamilton. And so this is different, and I hope, and I'm going to encourage when this vote comes up, my Republican and Democrat friends alike to consider this isn't something to put something else on. This is something that you can immediately get in there and eradicate a bunch of mosquitoes and, and, and save lives, you very likely prevent this contact from happening. And I, I would just hope that you make an exception on this. Uh, it doesn't make any difference about offsets. It doesn't make any difference about uh, the cost, really, when we know that we can save lives. This isn't something that's up in the air, debatable. These are facts that we're aware of. Hey, um, Mr. President, I wasn't going to talk about that.